My research right now is dominantly focused in first settlement of uh, Fiji and West Polynesia. Um, it's a very interesting set of questions in, in the sense that uh, these places were settled 3,000 years ago and the colonists who were coming in by boat um, who ultimately are the origins or are the ancestors of, of Polynesians today uh, entered into sort of a, a very pristine world without human uh, impacts or uh, any kind of um, uh, human predation uh, so they were sort of in these really really interesting environments and so a large part of what I do is, is documenting the historical aspect of that when they arrived and um, where if we can determine they came, came from, uh, the interrelationships, uh, but largely uh, the focus is on adaptation to the, the uh, new environments that they encountered and in particular the impacts that they had on these environments which uh, from all accounts was quite substantial. Ultimately the goals of my research are to provide a, a very thorough documentation of these you know, these initial settlement um, uh, situations. Uh, and in doing that, I'm providing, because it's, it's uh, what we call prehistory, before written records, I'm providing some very, very basic data for uh, the Tongan society, Fijians today, in terms of their earliest uh, and uh, earliest ancestors and, and initial uh, settlement efforts. Pretty much everything I do in the field in terms of research I integrate in some fashion into the classroom um, in a direct way because I teach field schools in places like Fiji or Tonga. I take students into the field with me and they get a, a, a very good introduction to living in a foreign culture, um, understanding different cultural values, uh, as well as the, the basics of doing archaeological field work. Um, but pretty much everything that I um, collect and recover in some fashion relates back to my coursework, so I integrate as many case studies out of my own work into the classroom as I possibly can.